see me, you know everything. Green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow. From the signs to the hats to the jersey, I'm in. Green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow. Uh, you know what it is, you don't even need a clue. What up, Title Town? Welcome back to my channel, Packer Fans for Life. What up, Pack Attack? It's your boy, Big Nate. Let's get it. I'm back with another video, but before I get this video started, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you turn on your notification bell so every time I upload a new video, a short, or I go live on StreamYard, you can notify. With that being said, you know the business. Let's get to it. Is Jordan Love on the trade market? The NFL reported today by I and Rio Port. He showed up on the McAfee show that Jordan Love's future in Green Bay is uncertain. But the Packers did say that he got a bright future. But I think the Packers already know that Drafting Jordan Love two years ago was the biggest mistake they have done. And now they see that basically it backfired on them. And I think that Jordan Love is in the market. The Packers, I'm sure they at this point, they're willing to take a second rounder, a third rounder for Jordan Love. Me personally, I never liked the pick. But I think the Packers at this point, are trying to get rid of Jordan Love. Anybody who's looking for a quarterback like Seattle, that they don't have a quarterback, or Tennessee, even though they drafted a quarterback, they might want to trade for him, or the Dolphins, or even Jacksonville Jaguar, or the Texans. The Texans don't really got a quarterback down there. And I, I think that the Packers at this point of time, they're asking for a second rounder, a third rounder, a third rounder. I think that the Packers should just go ahead and get rid of them. I don't see Jordan Love taking another snap in Green Bay unless if he's still there by the time the season begins and Aaron Rodgers happens to you know get injured. But I think the Packers right now, I'm sure they're you know picking up the phone, making calls to see if they can get something for Jordan Love. Aaron Rodgers is not going to retire anytime soon. The Packers know that. I think that the way they drafted receivers in the end uh, on this last draft that we just had a few uh, weeks ago, I think the Packers are really satisfied with you know the way they drafted players. And I don't think uh, Aaron Rodgers is just going to go ahead and retire next year. You know, we got some some good dynamic receivers. And I think this is the best defense the Packers have had since 2010, the year the Packers won the Super Bowl. And I think that for, for Aaron Rodgers to just walk away for uh, this dynamic group of uh, receivers the Packers just got now, or oh, this dynamic defense that I think it can be a top one defense, I don't think Rodgers is walking away, and I don't see the Packers, you know, watching Aaron Rodgers walk away after this year. I think this, uh, I think that Aaron Rodgers and the Packers are in on the long run. Jordan Love, I think he's out of here. I'd be surprised if the Packers are trying to look for a trade partner to get rid of Jordan Love. The experiment did not work out. And I don't think the Packers got that much confident on Jordan Love because he already showed that he's not able to sustain drives. He's not, you know, he's not capable of leading this team to football wins or to even to a Super Bowl victory. We all seen what happened with the Detroit Lions. You know, that was Detroit Lions. So you're not able to beat that team. Even Matt Flynn did better with the Detroit Lions. And they put up about almost 100 and something points combined together. And the Packers were able to beat the Detroit Lions. Some of you guys remember that game. We see what happened in Kansas City. The Packers were able to hold the Kansas City Chiefs, I think, to 13 points. And Jordan Love still wasn't able to sustain drives. 
and he threw about two interceptions. I think that Jordan Love is not ready to be a quarterback in Green Bay. I don't think he's the future of the Green Bay Packers. So I think that the Packers at some point, they're going to trade Jordan Love and try to get some type of value back for him. Or they're going to try to trade him for a, a different uh, player that I think the Packers might need. So you guys let me know in the comments below what you guys think about Jordan Love. Should the Packers trade him? Do you guys think the Packers are going to trade him and they're making calls? Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Don't forget to share, like, and comment. And to subscribe to my channel and show that support. With that being said, your boy Big Nate is out. Repping my town, when you see me, you know everything. Green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow. From the signs to the hats to the jersey, I'm in. Green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow.